Ugh. Man, oh man, just woke up from a nap. What is going on, so guys? Welcome back to another episode of Beeman GRP. Today, we are back, and uh, we are doing something kind of special. Now, we're going to walk up the, up, the, uh, up the neighborhood here. We're going to... Today, we're going to be doing something very, very special. I just said that. I don't know why I just repeated myself, but now... We're doing something else, you know, probably every car, guys, every man's dream, if you, uh, you know, watch, uh, TV and movies. You guys probably have a show, uh, movie series called Fast and Furious. We all know, we all heard of it. Family, yada, yada, yada. Well, you know, it's very rare to find a car from the movie. Actually, that was driven by Dominic Toretto, aka Vin Diesel. Now, yesterday, uh, I was actually driving down here to pick up another car, which is going to be another video. Um, that vehicle, well, my buddy called me, said uh, his friend has a Plymouth Cuda. Well, not, well, not Cuda. Uh, a 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner. <laughs> and um, I was like, okay, cool. Show me some pictures. And he sent me some pictures. And the uh, the car was this car. Put it on the screen. The car he sent was a car that looked exactly like the car from Fast and Furious. So I uh I asked him where to get it from, and he said, hey, you know, a Universal Studio auction. And I was sold. So now, we're going to go pick up a 1970s Plymouth Barracuda that was used in the Fast and Furious films. We're going to restore it because it's messed up badly. Yeah, we got to give it, like I said, give it a jump start. And also, we got this pretty sick uh, tow rig. Now, this is not my tow rig. I don't love tow rig. This is not my. Uh... So we're not gonna... This is not my truck. Then maybe I still like this, but this thing's actually pretty nasty. Uh, it's coming swapped and it's slammed to the ground. This thing's actually pretty clean. Not gonna lie, I actually was kind of. I keep telling these dudes to. Tell me their trucks, but they don't want to because I'm poor and yeah. But this um this Plymouth is going to be pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. That's uh the plan is to get that thing back home in this video and restore it. So I'll uh, we'll talk to you guys once we get to the place to uh, get this car yeah rolling all right I think this is the place right here Yeah, look at this thing shining in the sun. Okay. Look at this back here. This thing is just rolling. Oh! Never thought I'd see it. Never thought I'd see it. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, this thing's in rough shape. This thing's in real rough shape, not gonna lie. Got the old Mopar. 440 Mopar in that thing. Obviously, it's a Fast Furious car, so it's not stock, but... Performance Mopar, too. See, it's got a couple of things done to it. Uh, 
Uh, so, um, this thing needs a lot of work. Not gonna lie. But, we already set the guy the money, so. Huh, we got the car. Now we gotta just load it on the actual truck here. Yeah, I keep got I gotta I got keep jump starting this engine, bro. You know. Okay, so we're going to um, have to tilt this bed. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. We're gonna have to tilt this bed. Um. Not really a professional uh, tow truck operator, but you know what it is what it is. We're gonna sit right here and the uh, we're gonna get it done. Uh, it's, oh, this ain't good. Uh, you, I, I'll have to figure this out. Hold on. All right, if everything goes to right. I press this button, I believe. It should. Oh God! Oh no 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 no! Oh, oh, God! We ripped the bumper off. That's not. That's a million dollars right there. Uh. Okay, we're, we've now ripped stuff off. We've now ripped a million dollars of a worth of stuff off of this car. So we're just gonna. Oh, uh... oh God, that was a bad idea. You know what? Gonna have to do for now. It's gonna have to do for now. It's gonna have to do. I believe we broke we broken my Yeah, okay, yeah, we broken it. Man, this is a sad sight, bro. This is sad. But hey! It ain't nothing wrong with it because guess what? We're gonna um restore this thing back to its former glory and it's gonna sit right here on this paint match lift. Um so without further ado, I say we go grab a toolbox and uh, we start working on the car. Get it back on the road again. All right, we got this thing stripped down. We can fix the suspension. It was just a little control arm. Um, we had parts in the back and the, the front clip. That is uh, I'm trying to preserve as much preserve as much uh, original parts as possible. But obviously, not much of that front end was uh, preservable. Which is fine, you know, it is what it is, but we get a nice good look at that 440, but she runs! Um, I'm just not gonna run it because it has no front radiator and I'm not sure to blow this engine up. Um, 
but uh yeah so we're gonna go ahead and finish up this build and uh talk to y'all once it's done ladies and gentlemen she's done let's just hop in this thing it's too Oh, brother, look at that orange paint shine in the sun. This thing hasn't ran. So we freshened up the engine uh, a little bit. Got this thing nice and dialed up. We suckers dialed. We've got the old 440 on there. We um actually could save the hood. So the hood's actually the original hood. 